Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Avengers video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be a video I know a lot of people have been asking about. I'm going to be breaking down for you today how exactly you can level up your Spider Man from power one to power 150 in just two hours. And if you've been enjoying Spider Man and Marvel's Avengers and have been looking for a way to level them up, well, then do me a favor, scroll down right now and hit that thumbs up button. Share your excitement with me. If you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all things Marvel's Avengers, well, then I got you covered on everything for this game with spider-man being released and beyond and if that sounds good to you then hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to be immediately notified when a video goes live lastly reminding you guys that i am sponsored by g fuel the spider-man no way home g fuel is coming really soon so make sure you head to that link in the description box below and join the wait list then whenever you can get your hands on that spider-man no way home g fuel make sure you use code caboose at checkout and with all that being said let's Let's jump into this. Okay, so massive shout out to fellow content creator covering Marvel's Avengers, Bob Duck and Weave. He is the one who found this and was able to showcase it for you first. And I am just going off of the guide that he provided. So credit to him. He will be linked in the description box below. You should absolutely check out his channel if you want even more of a Marvel's Avengers fix. But okay, to start leveling up your Spider-Man, well, what you want to do is head over to the mission in Wakanda known as Here Comes the Pain. It is a threat sector that's available there and there is a corrupted vibranium version of it now you could do the corrupted vibranium version of this mission there's a lot of vibranium clusters that are going to spawn every time you break one you're going to get gear from it so it's a decent method still but it was recommended to me by fellow members of the community who are watching my stream anti sham and anti d wood shout outs to them they said do the regular version that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. There's a lot of chests that you're going to be able to grab, and it's going to give you a ton of gear. It's going to give you units, and it's going to give you so many resources. You're going to be farming for hours, and you're going to see how much you get from this. Okay, so jump in to the Here Comes the Pain mission, and then immediately as you spawn in, head left towards the waterfall. Behind the waterfall is going to be your first chest that you want to grab. Turn around and then head all the way to the bottom of the waterfall, and you're going to see just on your right next to the waterfall is going to be another chest for you to grab now you see me go and equip this gear i mainly do this because it was recommended to me that i equip my best gear pretty much on a regular basis while doing this run i'm not sure if the gear that you acquire scales to the highest gear you have in your inventory or to the highest gear that you have equipped so just to be safe make sure you equip the best gear at all times but okay following the last chest that you just got head back up to the top and go all the way to the left you're going to see it pop up on your screen there's going to be a chest in the corner just on top of a little cliffside Turn back around, and as you're heading the other way, you're going to inevitably see an underpass on your left. Head into that, and there's going to be another chest. Hug the left side of the wall from here, and you can see that there's another chest that you can grab by either breaking the wall or using an access panel, and there's a gold chest that you can grab this time. Keep hugging that left side and then you'll end up seeing another chest on your left and two more if you continue down the same path. And once you're just about towards the other end of the level, that's when you've pretty much gotten all the chests on the left side. Now you want to head over to the right side from where you are. You're going to see some corrupted vibranium shards spawn, which is great. You're going to get gear from destroying those. But if you go past the first one, there's going to be another chest available for you. From here, I just continue on destroying the rest of the corrupted vibranium shards. Just make sure that you go back to where they were. Sometimes the AI will destroy them for you. So you want to go collect your gear. But then after that, hug the left side of the wall. And again, when you jump down towards the bottom level, you're going to see another chest just waiting for you there and this is pretty much the run that you can do if you don't want to engage in combat for a single second if you do want to and you have a high enough level spider-man well you can continue on forward and take down a high priority target 
the high priority target is going to give you a piece of gear but then also a door is going to open that will have another chest for you to acquire gear from if you wanted to as well you can head back over to the other side of the map where there was the wall that you had to break or open with an access panel and when you defeat all the enemies in the surrounding area another door is going to open in the bottom level underneath the door that you had to break and that'll be the final chest that you can get in this mission from here you could just head back into orbit go back into the mission and rinse and repeat trust me guys this method is extremely efficient it isn't going to level your actual character level up extremely fast but it's going to get your power level from 1 to 150 i promise you in like two hours maybe even less if you're quick once you're at power level 150 you can pretty much do any activity that's available to you start getting some exotics for spy Spider-Man and then finally start working to leveling him up to 50 and creating a build for the character and you might even get lucky like I did and find a loot goblin during one of your runs which supplies you with a massive amount of gear seriously a huge shout out to Bob Duck and Wee for helping everybody get their Spider-Mans to 150 and to be honest you can do this with any character on the roster just follow this same exact method and you'll be 150 with every single character in no time so jump in max out your Spider-Man get ready for that raid trust me when you level up spider-man and you start to get through his skill tree he does end up being quite a bit of fun to play as one of the more interesting aspects of marvel's avengers of course is the rpg elements that are in the game so being able to apply that to spider-man has been fun then once you start getting some legendary and exotic gear you're gonna see that spider-man ends up being quite op especially as a support character he can crowd control like crazy but now i'd like to kick it to you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below was this guide helpful does it help you get your characters to 150 if so please sound off in the comments and if the guide was helpful well then scroll down and hit that thumbs up button it would show your support i've been caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter or join my Discord. There's a lot of fun happening in the Discord. The link's going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.